Good afternoon, everybody. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, the governance of uh, E-India for giving me this opportunity to speak <coughs> here uh, in this uh, digital learning higher education track. I have been uh, a silent watcher of how the whole program was being arranged and uh, my hats off to them that uh, they have been governing the whole uh, program to start uh, yesterday from Delhi, mostly from Delhi, am I right? So you see the, how the ICT has improved. Somewhere in Delhi and the whole program, a huge, the largest program is going to be arranged here in Hyderabad and that was remarkably uh, a great uh, task and uh, mostly I, I could see only ladies uh, operating it. So the women uh, involvement was really great in that. So I congratulate the governor, the E-India uh, uh, organizers who have <coughs> taken this uh, program so far. Now, <coughs> now we uh, are in Hindustan Institute of Technology and Science, uh, we, we have just been, we are a very young university, uh, just uh, uh, going to uh, complete three years. We have just started the third year. And uh, see, when, when, uh, when you have to, uh, when you talk about e-governance, uh, there are two things which uh, should come into our mind. Is one is the government and the part of it, how the government is introducing the electronic uh, gadgets to govern the, and the <coughs> country. And other, way, other one is how individually, how people are governing uh, their resources, the infrastructure, and the manpower which they have. So as far as higher education is concerned, our duty is to see that how our resources is governed. Now when a university is there, there is board of studies and there is syllabus, contents, courses and degrees, then amendments on that, and how we are going to deliver that, and what is the, how are you going to schedule your lectures, then the notes of lessons, then, then how do you take care of non-compliance when a teacher does not come? When a syllabus, uh, number, a number is given to a syllabus and when you find that there are two numbers are the, for the same uh, subject, how, how all these non-compliances are taken care? Uh, all these things have to be uh, taken care and all these things have to be automated. Now we have internal, we have reporting systems internal and we have external, like uh, uh, any, uh, any uh, institution cannot uh, exist uh, uh, as a standalone, uh, unless and until you do, you bring about one of the best uh, cadres of uh, um, products and they are immediately taken in. You know, uh, as private, you know, most, most of the players here are private uh, players where we have to see that uh, we bring in uh, the raw products and see that they are tuned and taken outside. So the main focus is on the students. Whatever we are talking, whether the student is going to get employed outside, whether he is going to pass your exam, and whether he is going to stand up to the uh, demands of the industry, what matters. So we do all these uh, things. So as how our chairman was talking about the content. Yes, content is being uh, uh, <coughs> produced or uh, <coughs> generated. Everybody is there preparing contents. But then how are you going to manage or the govern these contents to be delivered at the right time to the right people? You know? So we need tools for that. So we have a lot of players who, pay, who, are, uh, who are having the tools, like NPTEL came, came forward. They had, they had spent crores of rupees. But then there was no, there was no uh, a flag in between kept while they were uh, bringing out that NPTEL, whether that one hour lecture is going to be taken by the student are not throughout. You know, we, we have NPTEL in our university, so we can put it on. And then finally we find that most of the students are just sleeping in the class. You see, there, there's, no act, there's no action in that. There is a delivery. But then see that the contents, you know how he, he, he brought about uh, some music, some, uh, something was there that's not, that was missing. So whenever we are going to bring about the content, that content has to be 
uh, exercised or implemented halfway down. You don't completely uh, bring about the content and then you say, okay, give it to them. So we find that there is every, every, every teacher, as, I, as how I was presenting the previous uh, uh, session, that the, uh, whatever you are delivering, it has to have a teacher behind it. A teacher will have a content, but then the delivery will have different views depending upon the time and how he is presenting. So the, a student has to have that uh, thing. So this, again, has to be inculcated in the governance. Now, I, I don't know how many of you know that uh, uh, when, whenever you're, going, you're using internet uh, in the laptop, uh, I don't know how many of you know that once you have taken the downloaded, uh, seen um, a mail, uh, it can be uh, kept inside your laptop itself. You don't have to go into net again and connect. You know, there is a, a software given by the Microsoft called Microsoft Outlook. So once you download, it is there for years together. You know, how many of us are uh, using that? So there are certain things which are available as the tools which are there. How many, how many of us are really using it uh, as far as this governance is concerned? You know, it, it's, a, it's a very vital thing. Uh, around 8 o'clock, uh, when I have come uh, over to my uh, 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 residence, and I see, I ask one of the professors about one mail. He says, I have come home. There's no internet with me in my house. What does it matter? It's enough he has a laptop. It's enough he, if you would have downloaded all his mail at 4 o'clock, he's there in his house. He, he doesn't need an internet. See, these are those basic things have to be known. And these, these things can be given only by those uh, players uh, who are helping us in that ICT. That's where ICT comes in. So when you're talking about ICT content, it, uh, it has to go hand in hand with these uh, uh, players, these plugins. Like there are smart board deliverers. There are, uh, th there are people who are giving us a package for uh, examination and evaluation. The, the, these are things that have to be evaluated by our teacher. And how that can be embedded into my system is uh, what uh, uh, has to be uh, seen. Okay. Now, how he, uh, our chairman was saying, uh, the digital divide. Uh, I was thinking uh, till today, uh, well, I, I didn't know, I was not thinking in that uh, uh, angle that digital divide is only between rural and urban. Uh, no, no, no. He, he actually uh, pointed out that the digital divide is between the staff and the staff who are not using the ICT. You know, so there's a lot of digital divide among ourselves. So unless and until we set that digital divide, how are you going to bring in a digital divide between rural and urban? So these are the things have to be pondered upon. So, again, there, there are a lot of uh, uh, rules and regulations, policies are brought about by the UGC, University Grants Commission. The commission which grants is university status. Now, the, the certain other things are outdated. Are you putting any panel to bring about a change in that so that it will, it will, uh, it will come in tune with that ICT? You see, see, these are the things that have to be taken in. So I leave you to uh, in this and see what best can be done in this e-governance for this ICT. Thank you very much.